This is what success looks like. It should be just like this. It should be just like that. Okay? It shouldn't be up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. It shouldn't be good month, bad month, good month, bad month, good month. It shouldn't be that. You know why? If I get rid of the downs, if I get rid of the downs, what do I end up with? All ups, man. All you got to do is get rid of the downs. That means you got to start looking at the people around you. You got to look at your limited thinking. Okay? You got to look at the people around you that are supporting. Oh, why are you going to one of those seminars? How many of you heard that from one of your friends th- this weekend? Hey, where are you going this weekend? I'm going to go to this thing. It did that. Oh, shit. You know, that's all bullshit. You know, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. You know, I've been, I've been to thousands of these where 990 of them didn't work. Okay? And then, bang, something happened. Now, I don't know if the other 990 didn't work. This one did work. I don't know. I know this. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep reading books. I'm going to keep learning information. I'm going to keep grabbing content and hope that one day it changes me and makes me a better person. Okay? But I also need to look at this. I got to be willing to get rid of some of my old ideas. Some of, some of the old thinking. Work hard, work hard. I got work hard down. How many of you got work hard down? You got, you got like, I know how to work hard, dude. Okay? I know how to do that. I don't know how to buy access. You understand? How do I trade money for access? How do I exchange dead presidents for living people that can help me? Most of us won't do that. How many of you have money in the bank right now? You got money in a savings account? Because you don't get it then. You shouldn't have any money in the bank. It's not helping you, man. How can money in the bank help you? It doesn't help you. It helps the bank. (laughs) Cash is? Cash is trash. Okay? You need people. I need people. Okay? I exchange this hundred for a connection that gets me a thousand. You guys aren't broke. This is, this is not, take all my money from me. People ask, oh, what, what would happen if I took all your money? Dude, I, I wouldn't have this. I'm still going to be me. I'll bet you I could do this presentation with empty pockets. How many believe that? Okay. Okay. It's just paper, man. It's just paper. You get it? It's pieces of paper. It's like this. It's like this thing. It's a piece of paper. Take it from me. Take it from me. Steal it from me. You can't steal my courage from me. Try taking that away from you. You can't, you can't take away my experiences. Try, try stealing my experiences. Right? You can't take away my commitment. Try to steal my commitment. But most of you protect your money more than you do those three things right there. Right? You, can't, you can't take my connections, my ability to call people up on the phone and say, I need some help right now, man. Okay? So, so look, I want to help you. Okay? These guys want to help you. They want to help you. They want to stay connected with you, the right people. Stay connected with the right people. How do you stay connected with the right people that can help you grow and build your business? I want to help you. How, how many of you would like to have this kind of thing happening to you all the time in your life? All right? Okay. How, how many of you would like me to coach you on a daily basis and have access to this? Okay. You guys need somebody to tell you the truth. And it might be a follow-up problem you have. It might be a sales problem you have. It might be a negotiating problem you have. It might be just a motivation problem you have. It might be, I don't know how to handle somebody's objections, okay? It might be an incoming phone call. It might be, I need to train my staff. 